Aurora, some Girl Scouts are on a healthy mission. They're asking the city council to ban smoking when kids are in the car. Karen Morfitt at the city council meeting and Karen, these middle schoolers just earned their silver badge. Yeah, Dominic, it's one of the highest honors that can be awarded to a Girl Scout, and it's given to those who develop an idea that will better their community. Tonight, city council members here in Aurora felt that this smoking ban did just that. Spotting an iconic brown vest and green sash around town isn't unusual, especially this time of year. But to find an entire Girl Scout troop at an Aurora City Council meeting on Monday night is a little unique. We were all like, it's really big, but we'll try it. But we didn't really know it would get this far. All five members of Troop 789 have been here two weeks in a row, working on getting an ordinance passed that would ban smoking in a car with anyone under the age of 18. What started as a quest to obtain the coveted silver badge turned into much more. We think it's really important to just emphasize how bad secondhand smoking is. The girls started drafting the ordinance last March with the help of Councilman Charlie Richardson. But getting here hasn't been easy. Their noble efforts instead were met with pushback from both council members and some community members. I believe that we should be focusing on giving people the tools that they need to become free of tobacco instead of punishing people who have made a poor choice in their life to drive in a car with a child. Despite the opposition, council members approved the ordinance six to five, a decision that after nearly a year of hard work was met with undeniable excitement. We're really passing like a law and that's a lot bigger than just a little ward on our vest. <laughs> Now, this would be a second offense, meaning that you couldn't be cited for it alone. It will be punishable by a fine of up to $150 or community service and is set to take effect later this year. We're live in Aurora tonight. Karen Morfid covering Colorado First. Karen, thank you.